O's back at it again with another video and the ground don't stop. To re reach the top main. What it is, YouTube. As you guys can see from the title of the video, I'm here. I'm back. We here with the best glass cleaner finisher build in the game, baby. I'm going to show you guys how to make this dude. Hopefully, you guys make him. Hopefully, you guys do what I tell you to do, man. He's going to eat at the park. Just grind on him. Shine on him. If you're new to the channel, like the video. You already know what to do, man. Hit that sub button. Turn on post notifications. Because every time you see your boy Pete be booming with three O's pop up, you know it's going to be a banker. But let's get into it, man. Go ahead and make him a power forward. Left handed or right handed. It really don't matter. Jersey number. You can't go wrong with that double zero, man. You know what I'm saying? You cannot go wrong with that double zero. So most people I know, man. They want to go with the red and blue pot chart. Don't get me wrong. That plot chart is good. Ain't no wrong with that pot chart, but that all red pot chart, man. Mm. Look at the rebounding. Look at the interior defense. Yes. That sounds about right. Don't get me wrong. This pot chart right here, man, don't sleep on it. That's a good pot chart. That's what I chose when the game first came out. But I slept on this pot chart right here, man. This pot chart is going to get your player right. Physical profile, we're going to go ahead and go with the agility and vertical, man. I need that vertical, and I need my dude running fast. So, you know what I'm saying? This sounds about right. This is the pie chart we're going to rock with. All right, we're going to go ahead and put up all the defense and rebounding. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and get that 30 badges. You know, you need that rebound Hall of Fame. Brick wall, you can put that Hall of Fame. You know, intimidate Hall of Fame. You know what I'm saying? Rim protect the Hall of Fame. Chase down Hall of Fame. So, we need... We need a lot of defense and rebounding badges just to get your dude right at the park, man. You know what I'm saying? How you do doing things you ain't even expect him to do. You know what I'm saying? All right. After that, we're going to go ahead and put some finishing up. You know, I want about 17, 16. You know what I'm saying? Got to get that slithery goal or Hall of Fame. You know, relentless goal. You know what I'm saying? Contact finisher goal. You know what I'm saying? Fancy footwork, man. Cross key finisher, man. Them is all key badges. Them is all key badges. What you do, man. How you do at the park. Catching bodies, catching lobs, doing everything, all right? So, with the playmaking, I feel like we might get five or six playmaking. That could go on. Quick first step goal. Break starter goal. Post spin goal. You know what I'm saying? Dream. Don't sleep on dream shake. Do not sleep on dream shake, all right? So I think this is what we rocking with right here, man. 18 finishing, one shooting. We ain't care. We don't care about shooting, man. Six play making sound about right. And 30 defense slash rebounding badges, all right? That's sound about right. That's sound about right. All right, let's go ahead and get to the next part, man. Body shape really don't matter. Making what you want to do, you know what I'm saying? Most people do burly, solid, defined. But right here, I'm going to go with defined, man. For the height, man, it's that 6 8 going crazy. I don't really think we worry about the 610, but that 68, that speed and vertical go real crazy, man. But your your rebounding and stuff goes down. 69, everything stays the same. So 68 sounds about right though. Cause when I max out my arms, man, my rebounding gonna go right back up. So do not sleep on the 68, man. Your rebounding is gonna go right back up to it, like plus six or seven. So yeah, man, we're gonna run with that 68. By the way, man, I can't make them too skinny because the shrimp, ooh, the shrimp go down a lot. So we ain't going to make them too skinny, you know what I'm saying? We might stick with that 210, 215, that sound about right. Because 190, mm-mm, boy, boy, going to be weak. He's going to be quick, but he's going to be weak, man. So I don't want him too weak, you know what I'm saying? 215 sound about right. We're going to roll that 215, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and do that wingspan. We're going to max that out, man. When you max out the wingspan, as you guys can see, that standing dunk goes crazy. Rebound goes up to 90 plus. You know what I'm saying? That sound about right. We're going to do that. 90 plus rebounds, yes. My vertical still at 89, speed at 80, 77 acceleration. All right. All right. So for the takeover, man, you really can go either way with this, man. If you want to be a snagger, snagger, then you know to choose. This rim protector takeover, I don't know how strong it is this year, but if you got Hall of Fame Intimidator, Hall of Fame Rim Protector, Hall of Fame Chase Down Artist, man. Then you get your badge activated, man. That defense is going to be crazy, man. But with the glass cleaner, remember, your rebounding is a 90-plus, so you really don't need it, man. But if you want to be a dog in the paint, go ahead and choose that glass cleaner takeover and go crazy at the park, man. But for this, man, I feel like we might have to go with the glass cleaner takeover just to be a dog on the boards. Don't Ain't nobody going out snaggy, man. Your rebounding is up there. You have built a glass cleaning finisher. 
related to Sean Kemp and Giannis. Let's go ahead and test out this build, man. Let's see what these badges are going to look like. All right, we're going to go ahead and set them at a 99. We ain't going to play no my career game. We're just going to see what the badge is looking like. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Fancy on gold. Contact gold. Cross key gold. Relentless gold. Slithery gold. And right here, man, I don't know what to put, man. We could do back down gold. We could do drop stepper gold. We could do lob city. We could do giant slayer. But since I'm weak, man, my shrimp not that high, we might have to rock with that back down on gold. Just because my shrimp is not that high, so I might not be able to back down as much. But with this badge, it might help me out just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So for the playmaking, we're going to go ahead and rock with that quick first step on gold. That sounds about right. And right here, you can either do post spin gold. Don't sleep on post spin. Dream Shake, don't sleep on that. Break Starter. We're going to ride with Break Starter, man. Or you can do them other badges, man. But shooting, I'm going to go ahead and put that high start, man. Put that high start. All right. Brick Wall Hall of Fame. Boxing, put that gold. Chase Down, gold. Okay. Intimidated, gold. Rim Protected, gold. Rebound Chase, the Hall of Fame. I mean, Hall of Fame. Yeah, both of those Hall of Fame. Right here, you can rock with the pogo stick, go, post move, go. And now we got one more. You can play around the box. Heart Cruiser, that's a good badge. People be sleeping on that. Interceptor, you know what I'm saying? Just play around with these badges at this point. You got your five main badges that you want on Hall of Fame. Then badges are going to go crazy. Or you can just do it. Do as you please, man. This is my badge set up. I feel like these badges are going to have my dude going crazy in the park. All right, so that concludes the video, man. If you guys messing with the build, man, let me know some, man. Leave a like comment new to the channel go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications because every time you see your boy pete you know it's gonna be a banger